And so if you ever wanted to store your valuables in a place where you really couldn't lose it, for example, you're at a music festival, you lose your keys, you will need some extra cash to get you through your day, and you just don't have any in your wallet, in your pocket, or maybe you have some very valuable Bitcoin and you want to store it on a flash drive, or maybe like a super encrypted file that has some really important value to you or whatever. Stick it into your little stash box. Ah, We kind of over-designed this thing with some super powerful magnets. These are like 50 pound magnets in total. So this thing is gonna be nice and secure. But this is a very nice and easy project. I'll give you all the files for you to build it yourself and you can probably get it done in a weekend. So back in the early days of the internet, my brother was always talking about hiding floppy disk underneath cars. This way to share information, share data, documents, and I thought like, wouldn't it be cool if we did a modern way? I mean, one of the first things I think of when I go up to a car, it's like the Terminator, it's like anything else. I go and I look and see if they put a key in the visor. And then the second thing I do is I actually look under the car and I see if there's like one of those magnetic key holders. This, I haven't really seen that much. Maybe a Kickstarter here and there. This is still something not in popular culture. So what was your intention when you were designing this thing? Like, um, how did you design it? Like, this is solid, it's a great prototype. Anyone can make this in a weekend. Where did we come from and where do we go? All right, so first I started off in Fusion 360 by designing everything and you can see there's some features that didn't make it into the final product. This drop down tray, which was supposed to keep all of your valuables from moving around in the container. And I actually flipped everything to accommodate some of the problems in the design. Now I'm going to highlight the tray portion, which I developed in the sheet metal assembly. And you can actually print it out onto a piece of paper and then tape it or glue it to your piece of metal so you have a nice stencil to work with. It's laser time! Shout out to William Osman. If you haven't seen his channel, definitely check it out. He is hilarious. And here we're just cutting everything out. Some of these pieces actually got covered up like this one here. And this part is actually what is being laser etched. So it's just burning the surface. This is to create a mortise for the hinge. It wasn't until later that I realized that they sell non-mortise hinges. Would have been nice to know. And you can see this is how the hinge is going to be inserted. Now I held on to the laser cut scraps because I used them as a little stencil for marking off where I needed to cut this aluminum extrusion. And it's the exact same size. Even though I didn't use these pieces in the final product, I still thought it was a useful tip. I was getting a little bit frustrated here and so I actually broke some of my previous failures and used the pieces to actually create a little bumper because these clamps didn't have a rubberized portion to avoid indenting the surface of the wood. First, we printed out a scale one-to-one -one design of the actual tray. We laminated it. This is gonna create a nice, smooth surface for us to glue it down onto the piece of metal. In this case, we used a spray adhesive, 
make sure that the metal is the right size and then you're going to just spray it making sure that you wait a couple seconds so that it tacks up a little bit before you actually lay it down and smooth out all of the air bubbles to make sure that it's going to be nice and flat to the surface. This is actually a really awesome tip if you want to be precise. All you have to do is cut it out and there's little dotted lines for you to actually bend the pieces as a little indicator and it should be perfect every time except for when I do it. I will manage to mess this up, which I did, but you know, we're learning here. Life goes on. Now I realized that I probably could have 3D printed this part out, but I wanted to take this opportunity and challenge myself to learn a new skill. Now at this point, I'm very frustrated. I realize now that my design is not going to work exactly the way I planned. I realize that there's about half a centimeter that is missing. Like I guess I designed it too short or I bent it and it came out too short, but I was supposed to use these pieces of metal and this bag of really small washers to avoid the rivets from crushing the wood in between. And the problem here is that the metal actually will land on top of the rivets instead of in between the rivet and this little side piece as I'm using as an example. And so it's just not going to work. I tried to pivot and make some really quick and dirty Frankenstein improvements, but that actually made it worse. These little rivets here on the top and the hinge created so much excess material and it wouldn't close at all, not even with these powerful magnets. Now, I didn't show it here, but I actually cut out another piece of wood to go and cover up all these mistakes, and I'm removing the hardware. That way I can rough up the surface with some really coarse grit sandpaper. This is gonna create an easier place for the glue to adhere to I'm using this industrial strength stuff, and I'm making sure that I get it nice and deep into these little cracks so that I can actually glue down the hinges, making sure that the rounded portion of the hinge is facing up towards the magnets in toward the actual box. Then I'm gonna force some in on the other side and you wanna make sure that you actually clamp down these hinges because it actually will move once the glue expands and I made that mistake myself so it didn't come out perfect. This actually is kind of a throwback and a little bit nostalgic for me because one of my first projects ever was a secret stash that was in a shaving cream can. Now that's kind of a reference back to like Jurassic Park. The bottom screws open. <laughs> it's great. Oh, you got it's cool to compartmentalize inside. <laughs> you got it, so that's great. <laughs> and how they had all the uh, dinosaur DNA in there and all that stuff. That was kind of where I was going with that. But I thought it was a really cool project because I wanted to be able to store stuff safely in case someone breaks in. I always have some extra cash. Back in the 90s, before there was a thing called the internet, there was something called a BBS. I remember phone lines were being hooked into houses so people could call in and it was like a primordial message board. And one of the things that always struck me was people had said, hey, let's share files and you know, let's do this. And even now with the internet, with net neutrality, with everything going on, sometimes you want to share big files, sometimes you want to share encrypted files, and the best way to do this is offline. You can take one of these things, you can put your Bitcoin on it, you can put any cryptocurrency, including CryptoKitties, which is the silliest of them all, and there you go. You can put it on your car, you can drive it somewhere, you can wait an hour, and then go away. 
So what I find interesting is being able to text someone on Signal, say we're going to be at Frick Park, we're going to be at Chinle, we're going to be in San Francisco, and be there for an hour, see if they get it, and go. This is the type of stuff that you see hackers, you see uh, journalists, you see other people use to store encrypted stuff, to share files, and you know they will text each other on the Signal app, VPN. But um, this is one of the original real life versions. I'm glad it was a throwback to that and I'm glad it was a throwback to one of your first videos. So what do you want to see us build next? Do you like these sorts of videos where we kind of build some stash containers like Mr. Robot, Hacker Gadgets, more getting into electronics? Leave a comment, we'd love to know what you want us to build next. And take it easy as always. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.